Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how we can recreate this double exposure effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. So the first part of creating a double exposure effect is going to be having a proper video clip for the setup. So when you're picking a clip out for double exposure, you usually want to have a very bright background which is going to more or less remain the same in the final video shot, and then the darker areas of your video, in this case the woman's body, would be filled with the information from the second video clip, making it look like, in this case, a swarm of sharks is actually swimming around in the area of that body. So having a large contrast between the areas that you want the exposure effects to not be in and the areas where you want it to be in will make it a lot easier for you to get good results when you are doing this effect. So for this method on how to do double exposure and resolve, we need to go over to the color tab once we have our video clip selected. And the first thing we're going to need to do is to select the area which is going to be filled in with that exposure effect. So in this case, that's the woman's body. And we can easily select out the woman's body in this case by using luminance in an HSL qualifier. So basically, I just need to bring the luminance down low enough so that the sky is completely unselected with this corrector node. So let's click on the right edge there and drag it in and watch the corrector node in the top right hand corner. And you'll notice after we get to about 62.5 that the corrector node is only selecting the woman's body. Now because this is a really easy shot, we're pretty much already done with the qualifier tools. If you needed to go a little bit further with qualifying, you could try out a power window in order to draw a shape around the person so that you can only select this area and filter out the rest of the shot by default. So to combine with this corrector node, we're going to bring in the clip that we want to double expose with it as an external map. So I'm going to scroll up here and find my video file. So in this case, it is a sea of swarming sharks and other fish. And we're going to combine these two nodes. We're going to do that using a layer mixer. So I'm going to right click, add node, layer mixer. In addition to this layer mixer, we're also going to need an alpha output. So the alpha output is going to be receiving the information from this corrector node. So I'm just going to connect those two right now. And when we do that, you'll see that everything that isn't in the qualifier selection is now completely filtered out. And uh, seeing this now, we can actually uh, bring in the luminance just a tad more so that our selection is better. And maybe we can add a little bit of softness on the edges as well so it looks less harsh. And let's just bring that in a bit more. And then we get a pretty good selection. So now for what video information is actually being output, we need to combine the mat node and the corrector node. So in this case, the mat node goes to the bottom, so green to green. And then for the corrector node, that is going to feed into the top part of the layer mixer. And the layer mixer goes to the final output. Uh, when we do this, it may take a second for it to update. But what you should get is something like this, where the person's body is now being replaced with the C. So if you have a black background and the rest is being replaced with your external mat node, that's good. We can now go back over to the edit timeline. And we're going to want to take this clip and actually move it to the second track. So this is going to be our top layer information. And then we want to put the original clip with no modifications on the bottom. So I'm going to drag that into the bottom track here and close the media pool. And now what will happen is that all of the black spaces from the top track will be filled in with the original video information. So now we pretty much have the effect, but we can go a step further than this and bring back a little bit of the detail in the woman's body by adding on a third layer to the video timeline. So I'm gonna take the clip one more time from the media pool and put it into video track three. So here's the video clip. We put it in video track three. And now I'm gonna take the composite mode and change it from normal to something like pen light. Uh, a lot of these composite modes would actually work for similar results, but I was finding pen light to be pretty good. And if we now take it and lower the opacity, we'll be able to see the background layers more to as much as we'd like. So if I drop down to say something like 25% there, it adds a little bit of the detail. You can see the outlines of the woman's sweater. Uh, but you can also see the fish swimming in the background. So, so that's going to give us our final double exposure effect inside of DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope you guys learned a few tricks from this video. I've been Chris, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my future video content.